What's going on guys? So I'm gonna be giving my cherry head tortoises a bath. The same cherry head tortoises that we've been talking about in the past few videos. And the reason why I wanna give them a bath, as you can see, these guys have a little bit of fungus. I've already treated them, but it's time for me to treat them again. So I'm gonna put them all inside of this bin. The elongated tortoise is fine, but all of the cherry heads definitely need to be checked out. I have all the cherry heads in the bin and now I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little soak. And when I picked these guys up, they had it really bad, but it's gotten way better. This guy barely has, he just has a little bit of a patch there. And usually a fungal infection isn't a big deal. Which is why I bought these guys regardless of them having it. Uh, it has gotten way better since the last time that I checked on them. This one has not gotten that great. Uh, she definitely has the worst case, but she came in with the worst case. So we're going to have to spray her down for sure. Uh, I'm probably going to spray them all down. This one's a little bit dirty, so we're going to have to give her a little bath. I usually get asked, how do you give a tortoise a bath? So today I'm going to be showing you how. I already have a video explaining it. This is pretty much going to be a tutorial as well. Uh, the only reason I am giving these guys a bath though is so that I could apply this medicine properly. Usually with tortoises this size, I don't soak them. I just keep a water bowl inside of their enclosure, always full of clean water. And check this out, this is a mulberry. I would love to eat this, but it's been in tortoise water. So we'll feed it to the iguanas. All right, this one wants me to pet her not to eat, but Dino usually takes a little lick at it. Here you go. There you go. That's good, right? I love mulberries and so do the iguanas. Anyways, back to the tortoises. If you guys watched that video with me bathing all of the baby tortoises, I explained that the water usually gets dirty. And I also explained that it's not usually needed, but sometimes these guys are a little bit extra dirty and you need a little brush to scrub it. That tortoise that has the mud under it is definitely gonna need a scrub, so that's why I got this. But first, let's do a little water change. So in order to clean these guys up, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get them wet. I'm not gonna use any soap or anything cause it's not really that big a deal. But I'll just scrub off all the dirt and then wash it off. There you go, that's pretty clean right there. I'm gonna do it again just to get anything that might've been left over. And there we go. Put it back in here. Grab this guy that's trying to walk away. This one's actually the dirtiest one. Uh, and like you guys saw, I did soak them for about like 10 minutes and that's so that all this loosens up so that I don't have to use any soap. Watch this. Check that out. Look how much cleaner that is. We'll do a second pass. This one's pretty good, honestly. I'm gonna be using scarlet oil, but if you're dealing with a similar issue at home, you could also use coconut oil. This you could find online as well, though, pretty easily. Uh, the coconut oil you could usually find at grocery stores. Let's go ahead and start with this little cherry head right here. And all I'm going to do is just simply spray her down just like that. And I'm going to put her right back into her enclosure over there. And now this one, which is the one that has the most, do the same thing. Just spray her all over like that. Place her right there. This one comes in second, if not first. Males are lucky, they honestly don't have a lot, but I'll put a little bit just in case. So we'll go ahead and put it all over her. Over here. There we go. All the tortoises have been sprayed down. They're gonna stain the floor red for a little bit now, but that's fine. It'll dry up and they'll actually stay red for uh, probably a few weeks because that doesn't come off that easily but it's gonna help them take care of that fungus really good so there we go that's how you give a tortoise a bath 
If you guys want a more detailed uh, video about how to give tortoises baths, make sure you go ahead and check out my video in the tortoise care playlist. And if you're interested in some uh, cherry head tortoises or redfoot tortoises or any tortoise, make sure you check out shadowsreptiles.com. I do have some available as well as some other reptiles and reptile supplies that you guys should go check out. There's going to be a link in the description for everything if you guys are interested. I also have some care guides written on my website. So if you're interested in either a redfoot tortoise care guide or a sulcata care guide, go ahead and check it out. In my last video, one of you guys asked me if I still had my ferret and my prairie dogs. So here's a little update on them. The ferrets are doing amazing. I have five ferrets i'm trying to rehome two of them but there's the one that came in with gary gary is right there that little lovely prairie dog right there you can kind of tell by the bald spot she's always had that since she came in but as you can see i ended up getting gary a bunch of friends so i have a total of five prairie dogs now this one's the boy and the rest are all girls i want to see if i can get a better angle for you guys but i can't really open this up too much because they'll run out unless i give them food I already fed them today and as you can see they're pretty chunky so I don't want to overfeed them and keep giving them food just so that I can record them. And I want to build them a big walk-in enclosure as well. I just feel like with a walk-in enclosure it's going to be a lot better for me to interact with the animals so I want to do that in the future. Like what I did for my rhino iguanas which came out great. Now obviously it wouldn't be to this scale because the prairie dogs don't need as much space as these miniature dinosaurs right here. Aren't these guys awesome? They're super friendly with each other and they've been basking next to each other. The other one is right there they're all chilling they've been hanging out next to each other so much and they've been getting along no fighting yet so that's always a good sign of course when i put the rhino iguanas together one of my biggest concerns would be that they wouldn't get along but i would have built this huge enclosure for no reason and wasted all that money but luckily these guys are like puppies and they've been getting along great not only with each other but with me as well as the other animals i had my bunny come in here and they got along my dog has came in here a few times they've gotten along and yeah they've all been doing great and one thing that i think is super cool is that this rhino here is like beige kind of like more matching the mulch and then this one here is more blue so i came to end off the video and check this out this girl came out here so that i could pet her because she loves attention but what i wanted to show you guys is this look at this look at these spoiled lizards all sleeping all cuddled up together i have a bunch of hides for them and they all decide to get into the smallest one and this one over here is the most spoiled she every time she hears my voice she'll come out so that i could pet her and so that i could give her food and look who else is coming out what's up buddy his head is like half the size of the door come on you're blocking the door so here we have some mulberry leaves for the crazy rhinos these guys get very excited about food especially the two females dino he's more patient he doesn't mind waiting a little bit but these girls as soon as they see something they'll come running out i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you leave a like if you didn't feel free to leave a dislike if you have any suggestions for future videos make sure you leave them in the comments also subscribe turn on post notifications so that you don't miss out a future video and have a great day